Ah, boy. Oh, here's the pitch. Swing and a high flying ball to center field. Hey, Harry Carey showed up to the shindig. You expecting me to say something, huh? You expecting me to say something right now? Hey, look, I'm the boss. You want a drink or don't you? Okay. Now, 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 let now, 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 listen carefully. I, I, I am only about seven or eight minutes to, 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 uh, to show you exactly what it is to, to do one of these, one of these impressions. Welcome, welcome, yes, thank you, welcome, hi, how are you? Nice hair to you too, yes. Thank you for coming, welcome to everybody, and, uh, thank you for not being too cheap to say, I oh, will just watch it on HBO. John Coffee, man. You like to drink, only not spelled the same. Are you expecting you? Look, were you looking at me? Are you talking to me? No, no, you're not talking to me. Forget about it. No, 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 no. Listen. <laughs> well, it's a wonderful moon out here tonight in New York City. <laughs> I wish you folks back in St. Louis could see it. <laughs> now, now, and the, 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 the first step is, 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 is the most important step there is. What you have to do is, um, and, 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 um, well, um, listen here, I got a good one for you. I got a real good reason why you shouldn't be expecting me to say something right now. This is Walter Cronkite, once again, live from the Kennedy Space Center on Mars. I've been up here for about 45 years now, and I must say that nothing looks better and the view of a wonderful red canyon, 200 minus degrees, in the shade. Well, I tell you, with my wife, I don't get no respect. <laughs> I made a toast to her birthday, and I'm the best woman I ever had. <laughs> the way to join me. Well, I tell you, you know, I tell you. George is getting upset. See, there's a, there's, there's a certain way. There's a certain way you have to you have to go about it. See, and 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 when you do these things, you have to you have to do it a certain way. And and that that's what that's all about, see. And no, 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 no tuna on toast. No tuna on toast. I always get tuna on toast. Nothing ever works out for me on tuna on toast. Chicken salad on rye with a side of potato salad. Georgie, don't eat with your hands. Here's a guy that needs to lay off the Prozac. Why do you eat so fast? You can't even taste it. This is Cardinal Broadcaster John Rudy, and the Dapper Pool steps up to the plate, and he is swaying, and it's a gutter! Yo. Ah, oh, no. Yo, yo, yo. This is Gilbert Godfrey! Why did the chicken cross the road? I have no absolute idea! Christopher Walken. I've been trying to work on my Christopher Walken impression lately. I gotta tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. See, sometimes you gotta move the eyes back and forth. But then you gotta worry about the voice. The angel of death, Michael. And the angel of death. I just wish you folks back in St. Louis could see it. <laughs> go back. Why would we go back? We'll have to make eight stops on the way back. One for you to eat, one for you to pee, one for you to get locked in the john, one for you to pay a little kid to get you out of the john, and then we'll have to make another stop for you to eat. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Hey, old Kermit D. Frog here. Last week I paid a visit to my psychiatrist. I told him I keep thinking about suicide. He told me to start paying in advance. I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. It's funny. Get it in. Hey, is this the part where I'm supposed to laugh? You folks, uh, are you folks up with the heat? It's hot here in New York City, and then whoa, it's hot. Uh, so hot to here today in New York City that uh, Hillary Clinton paid a visit to New York, and uh, she wore a pantsuit without the pants. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. Me with the starving pygmies in New Guinea. Hey, man. Oh, Hercules, 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 Hercules. One ink pen. Ah, ah, ah. Barney, my pebbles. My wallet's gone. My wallet's gone. Two ink pens. Ah, 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 ah.
I tell you, when I was a kid, all I knew was rejection. <laughs> My yo-yo never came back. I tell you, you know. Cigarette, Bob? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize you were in a straitjacket. <laughs> Ebert. Oh, hiya, friend. Oh, <laughs> Please. What's the matter with you? Is the, what, is, what is your problem? What is your problem? What is the matter with you? Huh? What is the matter with you? you still, you're still sitting here expecting me to say something. Huh? Are you expecting me to say something right now? Huh? Are, you expect, are you expecting me? Not this face, not this hair, this new haircut. You're not expecting me to say anything. I know you're not. You, you, you were the one, you tried to milk him, didn't you, you sick son of a... Lord, I apologize. Me with the starving pygmies in New Guinea, hey, amen. Now, 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 this is definitely a guy that uh, next time you ought to cut the Prozacs in half. <laughs> and now, I'd like to introduce to you my impression of a weed eater. Mm. Will you stop that, please? Donkey Shane, darling, Donkey Shane. Have you adjusted any medication in the last 18 months? Yes. There's a guy who needs his own TV show. Have you ever had a sexually transmitted disease? All right, that's it. You got my name, you got my address. That's all you need. It's, it's so hot here today in New York City that uh, Amy Winehouse, she gave that thing on her head a flea dip. <laughs> hey. Oh. Mm. Apollo Creed hits you and you're down on the ground. And I say, wake up, you son of a gun, because Mickey loves you. Hey, this is the fella. This is the wad. The only John Littlefield doing his impression of Harry Sherry. Now Harry Sherry's gonna do an impression of John Littlefield. Hi, I'm John Littlefield. This is Harry Carey doing an impression of John Littlefield. Service, 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 Harry! From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. Uh, Harry Carey. Box. I love hot dogs with extra relish and mayonnaise and mustard. Harry Carey is my favorite voice to do, only because it's just so much fun. I find myself doing Harry Carey like all the time, like talking to my children. You know, hey, you better, you better go to bed or the bed bugs will bite you. Ha 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 ha. Some things just look funny. What would Robert De Niro look like if he was sitting in the audience at the Arsenio Hall show? Oh, 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 oh. That does it. Out you two pixies go through the door or out the window. This is definitely a guy who doesn't like people knocking on his door. Don't knock on this door. Not if there's a fire. Not if you hear the sound of a thud from my home, and one week later, there's a smell coming from there that it can only be a decaying human body. You have to hold a hanky to your face because the stench is so thick you think you're going to faint. Even then, don't knock. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Out of this door. Not for any reason. Do you get me, sweetheart? Uh, would you show these two gentlemen to the door? This is ridiculous. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs>